are we at the samurai experience yet? No. no. Now are we at the samurai experience? No. no. Now are we finally at the samurai experience? Yes, it's right over here. Come on, the tour's about to start. Oh, right. Welcome visitors from far and wide to the Samurai Experience Museum. Our journey today starts in the calligraphy room. I am your calligraphy master, Hideki. The brushwork of ancient Japan. Um, where are all the swords and armor and stuff? I mean, it's supposed to be the Samurai Experience, isn't it? Ben? Ugh. What? Want to see some sword stuff, not a bunch of word stuff. We will come to that in due time. But first, I must teach you about the power of the brush. Powerful. Wow, that felt peaceful. Your form is very delicate and natural. Remember, with each stroke, to gently feel the wind. Yeah! Ugh, I think mine's broken. Isn't it time we go to the samurai part and see some swords and stuff? Also, you got a little ink on you. Hmm, so I see. The armor comes after the calligraphy. Aw, but that could take... Minutes. Come on, Ben. Patience is a virtue. Try to imagine a time before cell phones or computers. And this was the only way to record one's thoughts. But why does calligraphy have to be so boring? Actually, Ben, the stroke of a brush can be very similar to the movement of a sword. Feel the wind calligraphy is also called shodo, and it helps with focus. I don't need to learn about focus. I'm already focused on the samurai. I'm gonna take him out into the hallway while we finish in here. <laughs> We're like barely. <laughs> How to draw Ben 10. Ben has an angular face with four sides like this. His hair and his ears are pretty low on his head. And his hair forms this curved zigzag shape. He's got four curved spikes of hair on the top of his head, kind of like this. His eyes are more like very round squares. Couple of thicker lines where his eyelashes are. Add in some wedge-shaped brows that are pretty sharp on the outsides. Fill those in. We'll give him a little smirk. Fill in his eyes and give them a little highlight. Darken up a few more lines, and that's how you draw Ben 10. Now it's your turn. Keep watching Cartoon Network for more tips on how to draw our characters. Hi kids, for the next 20 seconds, I am going to teach you how to draw me. Now get a piece of paper. I will stay perfectly still while you trace me. Careful under the arms, I'm ticklish. Why is they drawing stupid me then? Drawing I are! No, you silly monkey. They were drawing me. I are! Me. I are! Oh great, now our 20 seconds are up. I are shame. <laughs>
Wait, maybe Charlie's never even heard of Tigsy's Baxies. I gotta try and ask him. Panda. What? Hello? Wh who said that? It was I, Panda. How could you even fathom taking me from me? Bad move, Sonny. Besides, aren't you his friend? Would friends really do this? Would you really take away my joy? It was a promise. Why, dear boy, you could just keep Mum and steal it back. You're the artist, after all. Hmm, that's right. I could just take it without him knowing. No! Don't do it! Bad move. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Don't listen to him. He's being absurd. Excuse me, madam. Stop! Does anyone else have a better idea? <laughs> well, then I have no choice. Uh, hey! What's going on? <laughs> 